Podesta just said about Trump team proves just how scared he is getting. He's just scared of getting arrested. John Podesta is just as bad as Hillary Clinton, if not worse, with multiple alarming signs that were discovered through his emails on WikiLeaks. Some of these uh, even pointed towards Podesta possibly being part of a, of a pedophile ring. And now Podesta is trying his hardest to make sure that he is safe after James Comey is no longer in the FBI to protect Hillary and her cronies. If Trey Gowdy is picked to become the next director of the FBI, the Podesta family, I would assume, him and his brother and Hillary, the group over there, is truly in trouble as Gowdy has made it very clear in his hearings before that he despises pedophilia more than anything else in this world. If Podesta goes down, he can only imagine who else will go down with him. John Podesta at the real Donald Trump, the art of practicing damage enhancement, not damage control. See my op-ed in Washington Post. Opinion, Trump's top aides must go, Comey's firing, and its aftermath demand a special counsel and a sweep of the White House officials. Get a load of this character. Get a load of this character, and the Washington Post hired him. Podesta, in an op-ed, even went as far to say that President Trump's credibility is gone. Believe it or not, these crooks. As for the president himself, his credibility has long ago been shredded. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? The ironic thing is that John Podesta's credibility was long ago shredded because of the emails that were released through WikiLeaks. He can claim that they were Russian fakes all he wants, but no one believes him. Podesta is running scared that the FBI is about to get some, someone that will actually persecute criminals. Share this with everyone uh, everywhere to show that President Trump has Podesta and Clinton on the ropes. Of course, absolutely. Like, really? This guy, this guy's got a, a, a big set of kahunas. Like, you know, really? Really? Let's take a listen to Trey Gowdy. You refer to them as juveniles, not huh. children. There's a children's court in South Carolina. There's a juvenile court. If you're a child and you don't know the difference between right and wrong, you're not going to be prosecuted, but you're also not going to be able to testify. So trying to get a four or five or six year old kid qualified to testify in his or her own abuse case, that's the image that I'm sure you still, as well as a defense attorney positioning himself or herself so that child has to look at the perpetrator while he or she is telling what happened to him. So I go last because I want to encourage my colleagues to come and they were great today in their participation. But I also want to kind of close up any loose ends. When I hear the term children, there is no children's court in South Carolina. There's a juvenile court and it is for those under the age of 16. And there is a judge. So not only do you have to have a conviction, you have to have a judge exercise his or her discretion to put that person on a register. And you put your finger on it, a registry is a notification document. The public is hereby notified that this happened. Mr. Sheehan, if there is an eight-year-old, as Ms. Pittman says there is, if there is an eight-year-old that is on the sex offender registry for life, that eight-year-old needs a new lawyer, not a new law. They need a new lawyer. I'd be curious if the marshals found any eight-year-olds that are on the sex offender registry for life. And I would love a list of all eight-year-olds who are on the sex offender registry for life. Because they need a new lawyer or else it's the most egregious fact pattern an eight-year-old has ever committed. Detective Beaver, I said you and I would come back to this. This is what I want you to do for me. We won't do it today. And I got to get the permission of the chairman of the full committee who's 
already not happy with me because I had him in California and not Virginia. But if we can work through that, this is what I want you to do for me. I want you to give me a list of the providers that are giving you a hard time. We may have another here. We may let them come and publicly explain why they are having a hard time complying, complying with law enforcement in child exploitation and child abuse cases. My guess is that would be a very tough public explanation for them. So give me the names of the providers that you're having a hard time dealing with. And I may not can make them do it, but I can make them come and explain why they're doing it. And my guess is they won't want to do that. Their customers, 99.9% .9 of their customers would expect them to work with you, not to force you. Do you honestly believe the, the hypocrisy, the hypocrisy that this guy now his his brother worked for the Russians Podesta made money also from the Russian deal that Hillary uh, with the uranium he made 50 grand that we know of that we know of mind you just the things that we know of how many things we don't know and this um, criminal is hired by people and he comes out and talks about Trump you know something this country better start picking up and <clears throat> excuse me picking up and and doing something about this this low life the two Podesta brothers really and Hillary that's why they're making a big stink and I'd like to know why Schumer also why Schumer is also making a big stink about uh, the firing of Comey. They're afraid. They're going down. They're going down. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And uh, again, thank you so much for watching.